is one of my absolute favorite pieces of furniture in my craft room. I love it. It's so practical. And today I'm going to take you on a tour of the inside of each drawer. And I'm going to show you where I hide my extra desk. So stay tuned. <laughs> Hi there, it's Kara from The Hooting Pirate, and today I'm taking you on a little tour of my Alex drawers and my planner storage. I've done a video already taking you through my craft room, so I will link that up and you can go have a look at that. But today we're going to be talking just about my Alex drawers. Um, before I get started, I just want to make sure that you're subscribed because I have lots of tips and tricks and planner videos. So if you want to get, on, get in on that, then make sure you hit the subscribe. First, what I wanted to do, just I want to show you what I've done with these drawers. You can see there's actually two units uh, stacked on top of each other. And I took the wheels off, or I actually, when we put them together, we didn't put the wheels on. And so these are the wide ones. They've got three sort of shallower drawers and then three sort of deeper ones. There's not much difference, but it really does make it make a bit of a difference when it comes to storage. So that's how they're set up. And now let's have a little peek inside. I have um, some cath kits and bowls on top with just some mostly die cuts, but a few other goodies as well. So those are just sort of sorted out by theme. So let's get into it. So this first drawer is probably my favorite and the one I come to all the time. It is where uh, I come to it like about once a day or twice a day and I have my habit tracker. So I fill in what I've done. The, the day before and I also have in here I write down blog posts YouTube videos the work that I've done different stats but also I'll take this out of here and I will draft up blog draft up blog posts so those go in there as well so this is great this stays in here if you look at it it's basically another draw another desk another flat surface so I can just come in here I write it in here and then just close it up nice and neat it stays it stays that way it looks fantastic uh the next drawer is a little less organized this is christmas so all my christmas papers stickers washi uh everything washi more washi that's not washi that's baker's twine baker's twine washi more washi yeah so that's all christmas it's where old christmas planners go bits and pieces so that when i go to make next year's everything's all together Another one, this I'm going to change out because I'm not using it and, and I think I'm wasting it. This is, could also be another desk. Uh, it's my Erin Condren. Um, it's hardbound and it's so pretty and I love it, but I just, it wasn't working for the purpose that I was using it for. So hopefully I can either put another planner in there or make that one work for me. This, okay, if, you, if you're if you coming from the blog post, then you'll know what this drawer is. This is my new drawer. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a link to the blog post in the description below. But anything that I have is that's new or exciting or that I really want to use goes in this drawer. So this is mostly scrapbooky stuff because I use more scrapbooking supplies than planner kits and stickers. But um, yeah, this is all the fun stuff that I love. And it goes in here until it's sort of it's sort of lost its novelty or I get a new, I go shopping or I get a new kit in and then I'll replace it. Place the stuff that's getting kind of stagnant. This drawer is my December daily, which isn't done. And it, I also use the Christmas stuff in that as well. Where am I? This one, I guess. This is, I have a little Etsy shop, uh, nothing too special, but anything that I make, I make pom-pom clips and other ribbon clips. So anything that goes with Etsy is in there. And then if we get a little further down, this one, oh, can you believe it, is empty. So I have lots of potential. I was on the um, Paper House Productions team, and so I'm slowly emptying out my Paper House stuff because my term is ending at the end of June. So that's why that's empty, and I have, uh, I'm going to fill it up with something else. I don't know what yet. Then we're getting into um, Carpe Diem, so I'm also on their team. And what I will do is I will put two collections to a drawer, and they do sort of overlap, but they don't slide around too, too much. Just a little bit back and forth, but never side to side. So they stay pretty separate. So I'm okay with having two, two collections to a drawer. Just, they just wish they were, I don't know, centimeter water. Anyway, okay, this is a work in progress drawer, and I have a couple scrapbook pages and a little mini album that I kind of left. I'm 
have a go back to. Again, here's another Carpe Diem drawer. I might move these around so I have my Carpe Diem drawers all together. But then again, this is not a collection. This is sort of, there's a stack of sticker tablets and other extras that I have and all the washies here. I don't know why it's all here. It's using collections, but I was cleaning up and that's where they landed. Next up is another Carpe Diem drawer, Bliss and Bloom, which I love. And then the last drawer is another Paper House Productions. Um, again, being cleared out, I'm going to do another summer project soon. And um, yeah, so that's it. That's how I organize my Alex drawers. So if you have any questions or anything like that, leave a comment below. And if you are new here, please subscribe so that you'll get all kinds of new fun things in your, um, in your YouTube feed. Yeah, so have a great day and happy planning.